All right, all right. Hello, everyone, and now welcome to a game Colorful. This game taking place here on Twisted Meadows. Colorful has spawned as the blue, well, blue night owl player over here at what I would call the two o'clock position. And meanwhile, we have Ansi spawning as the red undead. Undead versus night elf in this one v one matchup. Hoping for some good games here. Haunted gold mine. The text is off to the side. Not quite sure why. Um, also, still don't have access to like the full screen display. Um, I don't know if anyone knows the people over at um, over at NetEase to try and fix that. It's just weird to watch this. Um, not in the true aspect ratio. I'm, I feels like I'm losing pixels off to the north or something. But if that is the case, well, there isn't much I can do about it. We are going to be looking at Altar of Darkness. There is a Crypt, Ziggurat, Tomb of Relics. It looks like the opening will be Death a Death Knight followed by Ghouls. Your Meanwhile, we are looking at a Keeper of the Grove. No, a Demon Hunter in this matchup. Demon Hunter with perhaps a couple of archers. We'll see how everything translates a little bit later um, for all of you guys yeah i'm still just casting a couple of games hopefully you guys are having a good time out there wherever you are in Your the world staying safe um, social distancing yourself um, I, I guess um, you know all of those things where go outside and play doesn't really 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 help you all that much being able to just stay at home and being able to enjoy the internet from the comfort of your home has become a bit of a luxury not a luxury more a, more of a mandate government mandate anyways double wisp coming over to come in for the repair wisps are taking quite a bit of damage Acolyte is also coming over here as well, and as an addition to a ghoul, so the ghouls may actually be able to do a large amount of damage here. Demon Hunter now making his way back over. A second Wisp also coming over as well. So this is going to be a problem. The Ancient of War most likely wanted to try and, well, stay alive and well for quite a bit longer. Meanwhile, it is going to end up getting taken down. You can take a look. Ancient of War now trying to back away. Archer taking quite a bit of damage as well, as the Demon Hunter is going to be, well, forced to force to fight with that Death Knight here in just a moment. Death Knight looking to finish off this Ancient of War. And that damage is just going to really add up really quickly. Death Knight does end up getting that kill um, and getting a little bit of experience from that death here. Meanwhile, Archer is trying to get away. No mana burn. Archer going to try to dive into that moon well and gets fully healed once more as the units are splitting back every which way. Very, very heavy harassment coming in from Ansi. Meanwhile, Wisp are playing a game of hide in the gold mine as the skeletal minions are splitting around every which way too. All right, units are heading back in multiple directions. A new Ancient of War going to get constructed in addition to the Moonwell as the action is all, well, off to the gates very quickly, so to speak, as we're looking at more ziggurats getting added in to try and free up some more supply and get more units out onto the battlefield. Death Knight still wandering around here. A lot of harassment coming across. Double skeletal min or two charges of skeletal minions have been used so far as the skeletal minions are doing a great job putting pressure inside the base here the problem the majority of the problem right now is the fact that these wisps are unable to heal outside of the gold mine except for these moon wells and those moon wells are getting dry a little bit of split action across multiple locations here wisp desecrated. getting damaged archer trying to finish off units demon hunter chasing after that death knight death knight winning that Our foot race because of unholy aura as we're now looking at a swarm of ghouls making their way out beautiful tactic by ansi to purposely pull away that demon hunter for just a little bit of time death Knight now making its back rounds back out here. I was going to take a look at the ghouls just finishing off so many of these units. Low hit point ghoul about to make its way back out. Our Death Knight will get to level two after the clearing of this creep camp. As you can see, the null overseer level five is going to give just or just a little bit more than the right amount of experience. There you go, up to 211 experience now. Death coil out ready once more. Death Knight off onto the map again. Archers making a move as the demon hunter looks to finish off the remaining Null Wardens. Demon Hunter purposely buying Boots of Speed. Purposely buying Boots of Speed to really be able to catch back up to that Death Knight. But the Death Knight now wandering in 
with uh, well a, whole, a large number of ghouls and the ghoul is going to go ahead and dive on into this tree of life this is a big problem here wisp need to make their way back over archers should be able to focus this down rather fast here death knight does have death coil that's going to see if any damage is getting added in here moon walls are getting drained as there goes one poor poor um, ghoul all right skeletal minion takes its place though as the demon are now trying to fight back against multiple units death coil saving a very low hit point ghoul as it is able to escape meanwhile wisp are trying to dive back every which way there's a detonation low hit point ghoul down to 60 hit points and it will be forced to retreat back let's take a look at this skeletal minions are slipping back down and well colorful doing a great job holding against all of this pressure from Anxi. and what we're gonna eventually see is that um Anxi has really invested a lot in all of these tier one units there will eventually be a power spike in the overall un or in the overall night elf army here but we do see also a lot of archers currently out in the battlefield as well necropolis coming online tree of ages also done we are looking at dual crypts now going into gargoyles for that harassment strategy and are there going to be enough archers to deal with those units that's going to be the question now meanwhile death knight sitting at level two wants to get to level three up drunken haze already across multiple units targets are missing and well, they're attacking a little bit slower and also well, a, a form of damage mitigation right there as we see the Ogre Warriors and these Forest Troll Trappers eventually all fall. Demon Hunter will most likely stay at level 2. Brewmaster will stay at level 1 since the experience is being spread across multiple units here. As we, well, one more shot, there it goes. All right. Demon Hunter, Boots of Speed making its rounds back out. Gargoyles currently in play. Panda is going to perhaps spot those gargoyles, but no easy way to attack them as of yet. Archers are going to be getting into position. A round of attacks right there. No drunken haze as the gargoyles back off once more. Demon Hunter wants to make sure that there is not an expansion over here on the opposite corner. Doing a little bit of scouting. F finds out that it is not there, uh, but he should have already known that. Um, or he can probably suspect that his opponent is now teching the tier 3 since there is no expansion as of yet more gargoyles are getting added in we are getting up ancient of lore two ancients of lore in fact as the gargoyles are going to try to put in pressure archers are here ready to go damage getting well thrown up there already as one gargoyle down to 128 hit points meanwhile new gargoyles joining the flock Demon Hunter perhaps trying to look to finish off some of those other low hit point ghouls. Demon Hunter trying to try and run around here going straight after lower hit point ghoul number one. Lower hit point ghoul one, number one is going to go ahead and get taken down. Trying to go after the second one. Is there a Nerubian tower? No, there isn't. As the units are now trying to slip their way through. This is going to be a beautiful position here. This ghoul cannot force or cannot really hope to fight right there as Research beautiful finished. controlling of these lanes to keep that Demon Hunter desecrated. away from those acolytes. Meanwhile, back across over here uh, death knight outdoor. gets detonated last ditch effort gargoyles still overhead once more as we are looking at perhaps trying to go for an orb of venom on that panda to be able to shoot Our down those gargoyles as the gargoyles desecrated. are just putting in pressure and harassing tremendously on that night elf base tree of ages about two-thirds of the way done black citadel is already done we are getting that lich now as the demon uh, hunter is going to go out. back and regroup with these remaining units here death knight going to get to oh he's going to get a mana burn no no mana burn to finish off that last no warden as the gargoyles going to end up getting slowed down here there's one slow gargoyle is it going to get another shot off no it will not and um, there is another one there finally but not going to be enough to really force it to force an engagement as these gargoyles uh, the with that unholy outdoors. aura may able to move around the map so so fast Demon Hunter making its way back down, perhaps trying to bait the uh, bait the gargoyles and that Death Knight to follow, but no such luck. Coming back around, Demon Hunter of Colorful still wandering around the map, perhaps looking to pull away the Death Knight from all of that action. Lich is out onto the field, uh, has an orb of corruption, outdoors. rod of necromancy, and should in fact be able Our to clear out this rock golem creep camp fairly quickly and effectively just by attacking and then pulling those units away there's a boulder onto that lich already as the units are going to go ahead and engage 
back across over here ancient of war is going to tank as well as well staff of teleportation on that on the demon hunter as he teleports all the way back death knight now retreating back as well where are all of the gargoyles ah, the keeping together with that lich all right death knight sitting at level three giving items to that lich the claws the gloves Our of haste and claws of attack plus six a increasing the effectiveness of that auto attack and very very effective there meanwhile demon hunter gonna go ahead and back off and that lich with an orb of corruption gloves of haste claws of attack and it becomes a really powerful caster who can slow down units and and with frost nova and then really weaken them with that negative four armor diva essentially everything is taking an additional 12 percent damage right now or that the target is taking an additional 12 percent damage you can see how fast those units are just gonna be falling as you see another negative 17 right there I think it almost becomes almost, I think, negative 19 or negative 20%, um, 22% damage or 22% damage uh, bonus, right essentially, if you have a base zero armor. But by the time you have Orb of Corruption, you shouldn't be facing units that have zero armor anyways. Demon Hunter going after that Death Knight. Death Knight looking to turn back around as we are still Research chasing finished. each other back and forth. Level 2 Demon Hunter, level 2 Panda going up against a level 3 soon to be level... Nope, now level 4 Death Knight and a level 2 Lich. Gargoyles are moving around the map very quickly as mobility is absolutely key. Shade quickly getting scouted out right there. A little bit of um, a good use realizing that his opponent was trying Our to keep eyes on him and enemy. able to slow it down. Demon Hunter, on the other hand, trying to pick off some of those remaining uh, remaining units here. Should be able to get some damage. Are we going to see some negative armor? Mana burn, Frost Nova on the Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter needs to back away, taking a, well, a boatload of damage. Our being forced to get a Staff of Teleportation out as the Panda and Demon Hunter are both going to get to level 3 right here. Getting in some extra damage here. Orb of Venom causing some bonus damage. Wanda Mana Stealing picked up by the Demon Hunter should really be given to the Panda, really. As you see a Frost Nova Staff of Preservation save. Panda is out onto the field. Are we going to see a Drunken Haze Breath of Fire? No. Scroll of Town Portal to head back home. No one or the Panda did not want to stick around Our in that battle. As desperate. Colorful is sitting at 48 over 50 supply right now. 47 and looking to clear out the Forest Troll Warlord Creep Camp Research. off to the north. Gargoyles are here. Forest Troll Warlord taking a lot of damage. Only plus one armor even after inner fire. Beauties of that Orb of Corruption. Focus fire. Everything dealing bonus damage onto that target since, well, since it has negative armor essentially. Uh, Forest Troll High Priest even with plus five. Not going to be able to stick around for very long. Let's take a look. Orb of Corruption only plus one. Lich now up to level three as the Death Knight still sits at level four. But now with a Pendant of Mana. the great outdoors now both sides here are, are sitting back and they're trying to uh, make sure that they're set up for the mid game no one's really going for the throat as of yet they're uh, they're playing to see who can win out in these long games here a big big gargoyle stone form coming back around drunken or uh, breath of fire going back down there as the dryads are now looking to back up dryads don't do actually that well against the gargoyles both units actually in fact um, do bonus damage to each other are we going to see the panda now make its way back over drunken haze breath of fire as the gargoyles are trying to fly back away are any of them going to get burned down there goes another slow poison there are any of them uh, no Research it doesn't look like it they're just flying overhead Our but they are going to have a little bit of difficulty him. back across over here lich is in a little bit of trouble oh dark ritual why actually slow yourself down for that demon hunter could have gotten some extra damage here some more damage onto that lich over time because of that orb of venom as an ancient of war in the middle of the map finding some extra bit of damage too orb of venom finishing off naga see which now joining in on the fight as well breath of fire going across blowing out some of those gargoyles from the sky as the demon hunter and panda look to back up again where is that night elf army night elf army of dryads not fighting next to the guard not fighting next to the heroes that does come as a surprise as the panda now low on mana demon hunter has double orb of venom um, obviously one of those will be given to the panda here in just a moment a little bit of damage over time that orb of venom ability does not stack um, but it does give him ah, plus 10 damage outdoors. the debuff does not ah, stack let's take a look outdoors. is that orb of venom going to be given to the 
um, other hero, well, the other panda is actually maxed out on items. So unless a, a shade is used or a dust of appearance is used momentarily, it's it's gonna be a little bit strange here. All right, we are looking at the shade still wandering around. Let's take a look at Death Knight in a little bit of trouble. Gargoyle, where is that rock wall? I'm gonna go mana burn onto that lich. A little bit of fighting going on every which way. Scroll of Town Portal to try and get a proper escape. There goes one gargoyle as the remaining four scroll trappers and four scroll high priests get finished off. Now, the Undead still does not have a potential expansion up as of yet. Tree of Life um, of Colorful going to make its way over here to that 1 o'clock expansion location and look to set that up. The Panda is at level 3. The Demon Hunter is also at level 3. And we could be seeing both of them get to level 4 here. Now, the Power Spike on the even leveled, um, even leveled heroes, not as high as the odd ones. But it is still going to be a drastic difference, especially... Well, no, the Demon Hunter is still too far away. Still doing a bit of scouting with those double orbs of Venom. I am surprised that we didn't see one of those orbs of Venom given to that Panda as that Orb of Venom would allow the Panda to attack air and also have another unit that is distributing that poison ability for six seconds. Coming over here to the bottom left, Death Knight looking to clear up this creep camp. Death Knight is sitting at level five. Lich is sitting at level 3, almost level 4. Naga Sea Witch comfortably at 2 with a Pendant of Mana giving the Naga Sea Witch more mana than hit points. All right, nor okay, finally, we see a little bit of a drop there. We're going to go ahead and swap some items. Orb of Venom finally on that panda. Hey there, Ev but Eviator, how are you doing? Death Knight now making its way back off to the north. All right. What's going down? Ancient of War going to go ahead and be able to fight or get in a couple of easy shots here. We are looking at an expansion getting set up. Wisp want to be able to jump inside. They will be able to do exactly that. But I am expecting a scroll of town portal to execute the instant or the moment that, well, this um, tree of life is gone. Once that tree of life is gone, the Death Knight is going to go ahead and teleport back out. Let's see how much damage can really be done here. Breath of Fire finishing off two of those Dryads here as more damage getting added are we going to see a staff for preservation? Yes, on that four unit as the Goblin Shredder also getting taken down. All right, Squirrel of Town Portal finally executed. It's going to go ahead and teleport back home. Are we going to see a Drunken Haze Breath of Fire? Nope, no Drunken Haze Breath of Fire from the Panda. Just a well-timed trading of Squirrel of Town Portals. Ab, nice that you could catch my stream as well. Thank you. As we're looking at a third base being established, or excuse me, now a second base being established by Colorful after losing his natural expansion here at the 1 o'clock location. Demon Hunter making its way over. Going to force, perhaps force an engagement here in just a moment. No Brutes and no is going to go ahead and easily get taken down. And meanwhile, we are looking at a Necropolis and a Haunted Gold Mine by Anxi. Anxi really hoping that this expansion doesn't get scouted out, but the Demon Hunter, the way Colorful has been playing him, he, he's often run around, running around um, every which corner of the map. The problem, though, is that the Demon Hunter is still only level 3 after all this time. Mana burn onto the Death Knight. Death Knight um, well, losing 175 mana. Right there, more damage. Another mana burn here as the unit's going to try and engage Orb of Venom there. Panda out of position. There's Drunken Haze, Breath of Fire. Multiple units going to get easy or get taken down here. Is the Panda going to be able to get in position as the Orb of Venom here coming back across? Panda is just running around in circles, perhaps trying to get another Drunken Haze, Breath of Fire. Scroll of Healing counteracting that absolutely perfectly as the Panda is now in a little bit of trouble. He has nowhere to run down to 169 hit points and get hit in the back with a death coil frost nova demon hunter now in trouble as well and all of a sudden what well, looked like a good battle losing the level four panda and now that demon hunter has to retreat back home dryads may try and resurrect that ta um, panda panda is now back out onto the field demon hunter is low on hit points trying to re run all the way back home as well as the moon wells of colorful are pretty barren and dry right now gargoyles uh, perhaps gonna find yes there goes one to dryad more units could end up getting taken down panda is right there oh death knight may have spotted him are we gonna see a death coil frost nova there you go and the panda falls for a second time as well dryads 
going after the gargoyles though that is some big damage there as we're looking at some of those units trying to retreat once more demon hunter gonna go ahead and heal back up panda most likely will just be resurrected the old-fashioned wait wait no where is he teleporting to teleporting off to the other side of the map to try and shut down his opponent's expansion demon hunter is here it needs to try and get away are we gonna see some cold arrows yes we are death knight is leading the charge here as the lich does not have enough mana as of yet for a death coil naga sea witch no bo no boots of speed lich right there could have perhaps tried to close in on that distance with a big frost nova but could not get it off Coming around again, Dryads now making their way back down. Are they going to be able to pick off some of those units? Gargoyles here, an army of Dryads going up against the, um, well, the three heroes. They are a magic immune, but the Lich can still deal tremendous damage to them. Let's take a look. What a oh, beautiful Death Coil save once more as the Death Knight travels back over. Our Dryad looking to perhaps head back again down to... Well, down to 92 hit points. Death Knight now going back once more as the Dryad say, you know what? I can just like stop and reposition and perhaps try and fight just a little bit. We could end up turning back around. Ghouls are going to try and engage again as the Ghouls are going to end up getting taken down. Ghoul and a Gargoyle both lost Frost Nova. Demon Hunter gets a Frost Nova. It gets slowed down and is now trying to retreat once more. Colorful is in trouble. Colorful now trying to retreat back, sitting at 50 over 80 supply. Expansion is up and running. Only two units mining, though, in that entangled gold mine compared to the undead's five acolytes mining at his expansion. Our gold mine has collapsed. All right. Demon Hunter making its way back out. Panda getting uh, resurrected. Tree of Eternity does have Nature's Blessing will be uprooting itself and moving to that 12 o'clock location there demon hunter easily spotted by that shade gonna be forced to retreat all the way back here still sitting at 50 over 80 supply and colorful has been trying colorful and his opponent have both been trying to do a lot with a rather small army both sides sitting in no upkeep still sitting at 50 supply not really wanting to try and get into a 70 to 80 supply as that demon hunter could end up having a little bit of problems where is he going to go down to 169 hit points looking to retreat back anti-magic potion gives him a little bit of breathing room knowing that a death coil and or frost nova would not finish him off Perhaps anti more anti-magic potions will be added. Death Knight, halfway to level 6. Lich will be able to get to level 3. Um, oh, sorry, Naga Sea Witch will be able to get to level 3 if the Death Knight backs away. Lich should be very close to level 5 if the Death Knight backed away. But the Death Knight actually is stealing some of this experience. As the Naga Sea Witch gets to 3 and the Lich is going to be, well, quite a, a little bit away from level 5. Death Knight going to be at 5. Lich going to be at 4. Naga Sea Witch is at 3. Meanwhile, Dryads and Pandas making their way and transi transitions back over. Is the Panda going to be able to do very much here? You can see Tomb of Relics and a Ziggurat here. Demon Hunter trying to dive its way on in. There's a little bit of missing targets. Are we going to see a Drunken Ace? Breath of Fire. There goes some units. There goes another Acolyte as we're looking at, well, some damage getting added in here. Are we going to see a Staff of Preservation? Yes, Staff of Preservation followed by a Staff of Teleportation. No silence as the demon hunter teleports back home without any effort back over here dryads could have tried to poke apart here there is no more mining at the main bases even though the well the mini map says there is a gold mine there it is long gone meanwhile colorful is still running up on two bases um, as this entangled gold mine is only up and running compared to the undead's one your building is complete now, um, I am surprised that we don't see a good number of Crypt Fiends getting added un into the field as of yet. Dryads generally don't do well against the Crypt Fiends. And also looking at the armor upgrades, 3-1 upgrades. Those Crypt Fiends would come out rather strong as well as we're looking at the units trying to well reach back around the corner still. Level 4 on the Lich, level 5 on the Death Knight, now trying to make it all the way back home. There is a Staff of Silence Necropolis perhaps going to end up getting destroyed but there is another necropolis right here not quite sure why you would need a second necropolis at your expansion this late in the game all right breath of fire coming across here nerubian tower about to get 
taken down. Acolytes trying to repair, unable to do so. There's a the scroll of town portal coming back across. Panda could come in with a big breath of fire. Demon Hunter with an anti-magic potion. Drunken Haze breath of fire. As you can see them go into stone form and back out again. Dryad's getting taken down. Mana burn onto the lid. Demon Hunter looking to perhaps back away. Dryad's able to poke apart many of those crypt fiends. Uh, not those crypt fiends, those gargoyles. And that's just slowly adding more and more damage again. Acolytes need to come in with the repair. Meanwhile, rejuvenation onto the Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter is still alive and well right now as the Dryads are trying to run away from those gargoyles. Meanwhile, Death Knight, Lich, Naga, Sea Witch, and while trying to keep the panda away, by keeping the panda purposefully away, you can make sure um, that there's no breath of fire as we see the panda at level 5 get taken down. All right, no staff of preservations. I do not believe there goes a big frost nova to slow things up. Dryads are still there trying to focus down some of those gargoyles as the gargoyles are trying to close in on that distance and perhaps get give the killing blow down to that dryad. Dryad now taken down, gonna go ahead and go back once more. There goes another Dryad as well. 50 over 80 supply, finally in low upkeep. Meanwhile, Naga Sea Witch still chasing after units, but unable to slow anything down as a Staff of Preservation saves those remaining units. 56 supply going up against 58 now. Both sides going into low upkeep at pretty much the same exact time. Bears gonna make their rounds, uh, uh, make their rounds around the map again. And Demon Hunter Panda now gonna make its way over. Death Knight sitting at level five, almost level six. Naga Sea Witch sitting at level three, and the Lich well also sitting at level five with level three Frost Nova, able to well stop everything in its tracks and deal a tremendous amount of damage. Uh right, catapult. Or excuse me, Meat Wagon going to get shut down here. Demon Hunter, Panda, level 4, level 5. Looking to perhaps find a way to extend this game and make it go long to give himself a little bit more of the advantage. Right Colorful, sitting at 71 over 80 supply. You can see that there is extra bases being established here. Both sides now trying to run up on two bases. This base, however, let's take a look. Necropolis is now done. And the Demon Hunter, I guess, doesn't want to stick around. Gargoyles are here, ready to go. Frostworm is upgraded 3-1 still. We're going to be going for an engagement. The Meat Wagons able to deal with those Dryads quickly from that backside. A ziggurat, Nerubian Tower getting added in. Dryads poking down that Frostworm. Frostworm already down to 1,100 hit points already as the Obsidian Statues trying to maintain and heal um, up all of those units. All right, more damage coming in. Meat Wagons coming in for that damage. Let's take a look back down to the south. Bears are going to join in on the fight to perhaps take down a couple of these ziggurats and slow things up. Fighting on Blight, though, a rather dangerous proposition, as any player knows. As Junkin Hayes, Breath of Fire goes across multiple units, picks back up. Bear now going to continue the fight, fight back over here. Stone form coming to an end. Frost from trying to slip away. Staff of Preservation saves another bear, but one bear not going to be so lucky. Low hit point Gargoyle going to try and head away down to three hit points. Could be able to st stick around another day as the Frost Worms flying overhead just long enough. Oh, there goes that Gargoyle really should not have been in that engagement all right more fighting coming across here dryads very low on hit points bears uh, well in druid for making its way over tremendous damage Staff of preservation saves a bear that was in mid transformation and about to die demon hunter gonna be in trouble here breath of fire almost blowing over an obsidian statue oh, one or two more shots should do a death knight perhaps gonna try and double back around we are at a level three unholy aura Lich, however, seeing that level 5, and it gets taken down as well. Level 5, Lich has been taken down. Level 4, Naga Sea Witch. Level 6, Death Knight, going up against a level 5, soon to be level 6, Panda, and a level 5, Demon Hunter. Panda about to make its way back across over here. Perhaps shut down this expansion. Make sure no more mining is operable. Meanwhile, Colorful has really taken the lead back and taking that economic advantage. He's Colorful seeing that 69 over 80 compared to 33 now. And that is going to be, in fact, a very big problem as ANSI doesn't have really that many options. All right, Nagasi, which is out onto the field. Lich is out onto the field. Death Knight, well, there is one Druid of the Claw there. Death Knight, where is it? Is it, well, nope, not there, not there. 
Death Knight is right there. Does have a Death Coil, but can only heal that Lich right now as the units are trying to retreat back. Slow Poison going to cause some serious problems for that Gargoyle, who's now down to 141 hit points and dropping quickly. Demon Hunter unable to close in that distance. Death Knight perhaps going to be able to get off a Death Coil and finish up this Gargoyle here in just a second. Ansi in serious trouble. Colorful is in a great spot. Level 5 on the Panda. Level 5 on the Demon Hunter. About to hit level 6. Death Knight, level 6, only has level 3 Unholy Aura as Animate Dead is not really going to help you close out or reestablish your positioning in a game. Coming back through here, Tree of Life. Still mining as we are getting some more mining off over here to the top right. Expansion. Well, Moonwell, um, there's that spirit tower getting in some big damage. Ziggurat is, uh, well, has taken some damage as well. Bears are going to charge on in, and this may be the last straw for the undead. Undead wants to try and protect this expansion location. This is not going to easily work out trying to get into the position when constantly being flanked by slow poison dryads makes it rather difficult. All right, are the gargoyles going to be able to do very much? Dryads are off over here. Perhaps they're going to be able to pick apart some of those units as the bears, well, breath of fire goes down. And, well, a gargoyle, oh, able to escape at four hit points while living to fight another day. Back down to the south, mana burn. Death Coil, Frost Nova, Demon Hunter in a bit of trouble. Potion Lesser and Vulnerability coming back around. Staff of Preservation saves. Colorful continuing the battle it through. Dryads are going to fight their way as well. There's the Death Coil, Frost Nova. Breath of Fire finishes off all of those um, all of those Gargoyles right there. That was a huge, huge boost in experience. That Panda all of a sudden just blew them out of the sky. And... That um, that really, really switched things up. That sudden death right there by the panda. Abel, um, hey, thank you for joining in. Uh, like, that happened so fast. You just saw the, the sudden, sudden... Um, like, yeah, my, my, my brain's trying to process. Like, a breath of fire, level 3 breath of fire, just m melted away all of those gargoyles and, and just blew them out of the sky. Sudden level 6 onto the panda, almost level 6 onto the demon hunter. And Colorful takes the game here. Even though he had the lower score, I think he still had the larger army going into that last fight. But the unit score um, shows, well, a much, much higher... Uh, a much, much higher units killed. Well, yeah, how is that possible? Unit score is higher for the undead, even though lar Colorful had the largest army. Um, so, yeah, that, that does come as a little bit of a surprise there as well. Anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed game one.